Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today. Today's video is a different one, it's a different one. Obviously yesterday, Chelsea got absolutely battered, yeah, and we never thought we'd say that, not against Big Sam's West Brom at Stamford Bridge, not in a million years would any of us have thought we're getting smashed 5-2 at Stamford Bridge against Big Sam's West Brom. No way. And I've done the watch along. I've done my match review. If you haven't seen my reaction, go and check those videos out from yesterday and knock yourselves out. Enjoy. But yesterday's game, I still can't understand. How the hell did we get smashed 5-2 by West Brom? I don't get it. Anyway, in relation to that result, a few of you are worried. A few of you are worried. I've read your comments. I've seen your criticisms. And um, you lot are worried because of a certain video that I'd done just as the international break was starting. Where I gave you my predictions for Chelsea's next six matches. Which the first one was yesterday against West Brom. Now, your concerns have come because I'd done that video and... It was similar to a previous video that I'd done with George Benson, if you remember, in December when we had Frank Lampard. And, or oh, November, one of those, I don't remember. But anyway, somewhere around there, before we played against Wolves, before we played against uh, Leicester, Arsenal, Man City, that run, um, Everton. And I predicted, well, we predicted that we would be getting 14 out of 18 points. So out of those six matches, 18 points available, we would be picking up 14 points. All would be fantastic. Frank Lampard at the helm, Chelsea going to win the league. Like, we, we were talking like that. And then we literally, near enough, lost every single game. I think we didn't lose, like, maybe one or two. I don't remember. But we lost all the rest. Um, and... I'd done that video, we spoke about that video, and we thought, oh my god, I can't believe we've said all of that. We've absolutely jinxed it, haven't we? Well, because of the international break, I thought, you know what, let me be a little bit more humble. Let me be a little bit more, you know, um, pragmatic and less cocky with my predictions when predicting Chelsea's next six matches, starting with West Brom, which happened yesterday. And I'd done that at the start of the international break. And I felt like I was quite, you know, honest, but confident at the same time. And I don't think I predicted one Chelsea loss. Well, we've lost now. And a lot of you think that I've jinxed it again. So what I thought I would do is rectify the situation. Yeah, I didn't rectify it before. I am not allowing it to happen a second time. Hell no. So I thought, let's go over that video that I'd done at the start of the international break. Let's react to it and review, probably revise a couple of my predictions and probably change a few. And at the end of the video, you'll know why. Now, before we get tucking into that video, I want to ask you guys, if you are new, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you do enjoy this video. I'm sure you are going to because we're going to reverse, reverse our karma. Yes, that is what we are going to do. Yeah, we are not allowing Chelsea Football Club to go through the same mess that it went through in December. Hell no. And that starts by rectifying the situation today. But anyway, we'll check out my social media links in the description my patreon is there with my podcast so make sure you have a look over there my twitch is there follow me on twitch as i will be doing more streaming over there in relation to fifa and some chats with all of you so make sure you follow me on there and um yeah knock yourselves out now let's check out this video in question because i can't believe what i said at the time now i really can't i predicted that we would beat west brom probably comfortably and i predicted that we would beat crystal palace well, we've lost against West Brom. Let's see what I had to say. And, and we'll, we'll revise as we go along. Go on, Eunice. Take it away. Now, what do I think we're going to get from it? Here's the deal. I think the Premier League games against West Brom and Crystal Palace um, should be wins. Should be wins. Let's have it right. No, 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 no. So basically, we've lost against West Brom already. We've been absolutely battered. So what I am going to do is revise the first prediction. So... West Brom, we can't talk about now because it's already happened. But Crystal Palace? No, 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 no. We are going to Sellers Park. We're not winning. We're going to draw. We're going to draw. We're going to draw 1-1. One, one. How does that sound, yeah? Right, Eunice, keep going. Right, we shouldn't be bottling those games. But in we the will. context of things, that we have the FA Cup semi-final. We've got the Champions League, two legs in between. I'd like to think that even so, the Premier League games, we will win. 
I think Porto away from home. I'm going to go with a draw for that. No, 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 no. Eunice, you got this completely wrong, mate. He's got this completely wrong. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No, Porto first leg, we're losing that. We are going to lose that game. It's going to finish Porto 2, Chelsea 1. Yeah, we'll get the away goal, but we're losing. Simple as that. Eunice, keep going. That, I'm going to go with something, you know, I'm not going to say we're going to come on here and just go to Porto and win 3 0. You know, I'm confident with I'm how glad. we're playing, but I'm going to be a little bit realistic. A draw away from home against a good Porto side, come back to the bridge, win, a narrow win. I'll go with a narrow win. No, 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 no. Okay, so, so look, look, basically, we ain't even coming back to the bridge, so I got that wrong, right? Look, we're playing both legs in Seville. That has already been clarified. But my new prediction now is we're losing 2-1 in the first leg. Porto will be winning that, two goals to one. And in the second leg, after we play Palace and we get a draw over there, we fly back to Seville to play the second leg. We are going to draw. We're going to draw 1-1. And then we're going to get knocked out of the Champions League quarterfinals. We'll call it a day. I know, it's sad. I know, I, I can already hear your pleas. All, all of you are thinking, no, oh, Eunice, no. But we want to win the Champions League. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're, look, we're getting battered. We're getting knocked out. Quarter final. It ends. Yeah, it ends. Simple as that. Porto will be going to the semi finals, not Chelsea Football Club. Eunice, keep going. In Manchester City semi final at Wembley. This is the final. As far as I'm concerned, that is a final. And obviously, with each of these games, I will elaborate more on the match previews that I do for each one. But. Just in hindsight, looking from afar of what is to come, Man City semi-final. The fact that Man United got knocked out yesterday and Leicester have to play Southampton in that other semi-final. I mean, congratulations to Leicester and Southampton, by the way. But that, you know, is looking like a straightforward game. You look at this, Chelsea-Manchester City. Whoever wins this, for me, will win the FA Cup. That's and it's not going to be Chelsea. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Mate, this semi-final against Manchester City, we are getting battered we are going to get absolutely demolished. Demolished. Left, right and centre. We're going to get pasted. Yeah. Manchester City 5, Chelsea 0. Yeah. That's going to be the semi-final score. Man City are on another planet right now compared to us. We've got a long way to go. And therefore, we are going to get absolutely demolished. So I'm going Man City 5, Chelsea 0 in that semi-final. And um, to elaborate on the last fixture, which is against West Ham. So that is a big game because West Ham are competing for top four as well. Um, let's see what I had to say. Believe in ourselves. We have the team. We don't have the team. Away from home. And I'd like to think with a week's rest from the Manchester City semi-final, we should be going to West Ham and hopefully getting a result. Even though it's away, the motivation for the fact of getting top four possibly nailing top four with a win away at West Ham. I don't see a reason why we can't go to the London Stadium and get a result. Well, I can see a reason why we're going to go to the London Stadium and not get a result because we are Chelsea Football Club and we're starting to lose matches now, aren't we? So look, what's going to happen? Let me revise this prediction as well. We are going to West Ham, the London Stadium, and West Ham are going to win 2 0. We ain't even scoring. Yeah, it's going to finish West Ham 2, Chelsea 0. And that, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, is the revised prediction of the next five games, not six games, because we've already played against West Brom. So that is out the window. We've got five games that I predicted in this video, West Ham being the last one. We're losing. We're losing. So to go over it one more. We've got Porto, we're going to lose 2-1 on Wednesday. And we've got Crystal Palace, 1-1. One, one. We're, we're going to draw at Celeste. And then the second leg against Porto, 1-1. One, one. We're going to get knocked out. And then Manchester City are going to absolutely demolish us 5-0 in the semi-final. And then we're going to go to West Ham and we're going to lose 2-0. And that is your new prediction for the next five games. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think of the new predictions, the revised predictions? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you see what I've done here? I hope you have. I can't really say it because then that will kind of make everything irrelevant and um, kind of nullify everything, which I don't want to happen. So what I am going to say is, 
let me know in the comments what you think and um yeah i will see all of you tomorrow for a brand new video thank you all so much for watching hit the subscribe button if you are new hit that notification bell to be notified once i've uploaded smash like button if you did enjoy this video thank you very very much check out my patreon patreon.com forward slash ytf for more exclusive unis talks football content including the unis talks football podcast and there's a very special guest coming on tomorrow you're gonna love it and you know who it is so make sure you check it out tomorrow when it's uploaded and enjoy don't forget to follow me on twitch as well as i am regularly streaming there from now on whether it's chatting to you guys or playing fifa going through the chelsea player career mode where i try to become chelsea's next best striker how about that anyway i'll see all of you tomorrow for a brand new video thank you all so much for watching have a good one look after yourselves take care and peace